Hey guys, Max here. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I set up a CRT monitor when I first get one. So first thing first, I want to know what are the limits of my CRT monitor. Usually I do this before I buy a CRT monitor. So what, in my opinion, is the best source of information for CRT monitors is CNET. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but CNET is just great. So type in CNET and then the model number, or model name for your monitor. So for me, it's this and we're going to go to the specs the specs page for this and we can see some information here so native resolutions kind of unimportant but if you're missing some of this other information you can get some information based on what its native resolution is but anyways vertical refresh rate the limits 160 hertz okay gonna remember that horizontal refresh rate limit 121 kilohertz okay i'm gonna remember that now these numbers are important for setting a custom resolution because they basically dictate the highest resolution you can do or highest refresh rate you can do. Vertical refresh rate is the absolute, the normal refresh rate, that's the limit. Horizontal refresh rate is a bit different. I'll show you guys. So once we know that information, we're, gon we're going to go into custom resolution utility by Toasty X, and I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, if you don't want to download this and you're using NVIDIA, I believe you can set custom resolution that way, but you have a ton of control with custom resolution utility, so I, I recommend using it. So once we're in here, we're going to go to CRT standard, just to be a bit simple. We're going to set our refresh rate to the highest since we want really um, smooth uh, movement and everything. So 160 and the horizontal amount doesn't matter too much because we're just trying to find what's the highest vertical pixel count we can get before we go over the horizontal pixel count or the horizontal frequency excuse me so for me it's 680 and what we can do here is take 680 multiply that by the aspect ratio which is 16 by 10 for my monitor Okay, I messed up somewhere. It should be divided right there. Anyways, it's 1088, which is what we have right there. And then we can click apply. Uh, I want to show you guys some other things that you can do with this. Um, so go to CRT standard, like usual. And let's say you say, I really want to use this resolution, 1024 by 768. And I want to use it at 160 hertz. I just need to but the horizontal frequency is higher than your monitor allow, uh, lets you use so right here it's it can only go to 120 kilohertz but this resolution refresh rate wants 135 kilohertz so if we press interlaced we're basically going to have the horizontal frequency that's required so that just opens up a ton of options for custom resolutions and refresh rates and uh, I recommend checking that out if you have a CRT monitor. It doesn't look uh, as great as progressively scanned, but it's, um, it's interesting. So we're gonna leave that like that. And now that we have our new resolutions saved, the way that we're gonna get them recognized um, so we can actually set them is by either restarting our computer or by using a shortcut I have. I'm not sure if there's something similar to this like uh, in NVIDIA, but I know on AMD this works and I think it'd be a similar thing on NVIDIA with enabling GPU scaling and then disabling. So what we do is we uh, click enable. This is how it should look beforehand. We click enable, apply. And then we're gonna just say yes, keep these settings. And then we're gonna click apply again to disable it. So we enabled it, apply, disable it, apply, and then we're going to be left with basically back where we started. Now we're going to go into our control panel, our Windows control panel, and then click on advanced options, list all modes, and then here we're going to have an option for a ton of different resolutions. So we're going to use, how about that interlaced resolution we set up. So interlaced resolutions on CRT monitors and actually all monitors, they're gonna look like 
basically half of the refresh rate that you actually set. So instead of 160 hertz, it just looks like 80 hertz in the setting here, but it's actually 160. And I wanna show you guys the other resolution we set. So here is 160 hertz, progressively scanned, but we're gonna do this one for now. So click OK. And then if everything looks right, can click keep changes. So right now I can't really show this, but what you want to do is you want to open up the menu on your monitor. There should be a, a button for that. And either on that menu that you just opened up, there should be something that tells you what refresh rate you're running at. So if it just says like some number and then Hertz, that's your vertical refresh rate. If it says some number and then kilohertz, that's your horizontal frequency. So if you have things that are the same way that you saw them in custom resolution utility or very similar to, uh, then you did everything correctly. So I'll just um, basically say what I see right now on my menu. So on my menu, I see 100, or sorry, 68.1 kilohertz, um, which is a horizontal frequency. Yes, that matches up, that's pretty close. And then I see 160 hertz, for the vertical frequency, which is right. So we did everything right here. We're actually running at 160 Hertz. So now that we have that sorted out, we're going to set up Counter-Strike so that it actually launches properly because there can be some issues with that. And actually I wanna first say, kind of jumped over this, set your resolution in the control panel for Windows. Do not set it in AMD control panel. You're gonna run into some issues if you do that. Um, sooner or later. And I think with NVIDIA, you might want to try to stay clear of that as well. But I know for AMD, just really just stay away from it. Um, so once you've done all that, go into your uh, game right here. We're going to go into Counter-Strike Launch Options, which you can do by right-clicking Counter-Strike and then Properties, Set Launch Options. And this is the important part right here. Window and No Border doesn't really matter, but you can do that also. Um, Basically, when you tell when you normally have Counter Strike set up, it automatically goes into full screen mode, and the way it looks for what resolution it's, it should start up in isn't always the way that like makes a ton of sense. And sometimes it'll start up in a resolution that you want to play at, but it'll do that at like 60 hertz or 80 hertz, and you want to do it at 160 hertz. So just set it at windowed first, um, and then once you do that, you're gonna just start up the game like normal. And I'll show you the next part after it loads. <sighs> so once it loads, you're going to want to go into your video settings. Make sure that the aspect ratio and uh, resolution are correct. If they aren't correct, what you're going to want to do is close the game and basically go back to that um, GPU scaling option on AMD Catalyst Control Center. Uh, right here and just redo that and then select it in the Windows setting, apply and so on, or restart your computer if you're not doing uh, the deep GPU scaling method. So once you have that done, you're going to want to set it to full screen if everything looks right. Press apply and you should be running um, at your custom resolution and custom refresh rate and then once again you can check in a fairly easy way by just opening up your monitor menu and seeing the numbers that it shows. If, it's, if it shows like 160 hertz, you're running at 160 hertz and everything's working great. Um, and I'll just start up a game really quick just so you guys can see something, I don't know. Um, anyways, so I hope you guys learned something. I hope I helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in, uh, you know, where because you're on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Or will I? Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm getting more frames per second. Cool. Go, go, go. See you guys.